Welcome to Anderson Street, where we are having difficult discussion with people that have pretty immensely varying opinions on a thing. This idea that we're upholding, that we're saying like this is what this country was founded on, mm -hmm. it has never in the entire history of this country been true for black people. I'm Vic, welcome back to Anderson Street. We are talking about oppression today. Sexual stigmas and taboos. Chatting about what it is to be American. Free speech. Assault, harassment, what are they? Is it relative, is it not? Bah, bah, bah. For me, probably the toughest issue to talk about is race. You have the same group. Everybody looks like me, we don't get our ass kicked. No, We're not always gonna make it home. Communication, direct, honest of what it, like what the N-word means. It, you can't say that to me, right? Because that person holds privileges that I don't have and things that I don't have access to. So this word is meaningless and they are perpetuating what the oppressor has saying by calling me it. Those are the kind of conversations that are needed where it's curated and facilitated in such a way that you understand like where people's viewpoints are coming from and sort of like ponder that a little bit. We're in it now. Yeah. Essentially, this is a place for people to have a safe space to discuss really hard topics. He looked at me and he said, did you use protection? And I said, Dad, no, I just got a blowjob. Oh, no. We didn't have sex. Let's, we can see you mm -hmm. because the whole idea of work is a toil. It should Fun. be comp, um, combined with fun or pleasure or even satisfaction, mm -hmm. it should be work, mm -hmm. the four letter word. Mm -hmm. Sexual socialization happened via internet and via grinder and via, you know what I'm saying, which is like good and bad, right? But women have to um, think twice about, our about everything, about what they're wearing, where they're going, who they're going with, how long they're gonna be there, do they have a ride home? All for protection of themselves. I think you can only really understand what oppression is from personal experience. But it's also a woman's responsibility to speak up. And I yeah. admit that fully. Yes, but that's not something that we're taught. I mean, to get no. a voice. No. Men don't want to hear it. They're no. not like, you know, no offense, but offense. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> <laughs> it's really only when shit gets uncomfortable that it starts becoming the kind of speech that we mm -hmm. need to protect. I think it's interesting to get other people's perspectives because I think it almost helps with your own perspective. Um, we're like encouraging like civil discourse amongst like people completely different. I love having like real conversations. You know, I think conversations ab about topics like this should be no more normalized. Um, I just yeah. love the conversation. Yeah, I'm just excited to, to be a part of this. I'm interested to hear from other people's perspectives of real life experiences. It's a really great feeling when you can come together and and listen and hear and, and communicate and be able to share opinions and... I never really talked about what I said at that table before. I'm open, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to, to hear and see and give what I can, you know. A little nervous to talk about it at the table, but looking forward to talking at, about it at the table. <laughs> Please, I invite you to join us in having these conversations with us and then at your own dinner tables. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, the whole nine. I hope to see you there. Cut.